Let me show you how you can build the self-learning Rag agent that can pull latest news and generate newsletter posts for you. And by the way, in the end of this video, I will give you this exact template so you can just connect and play with it. But for now, let's dive in. So let me quickly explain and show you how this thing works as well. So I'm going to quickly hit this first of all. As you can see, this is triggered, this activates every one minute and this basically makes sure, this actually basically uh, checks the website what is inside this RSSV trigger for the uh, new articles, like say, uh, someone just posted a new article uh, like 30 seconds ago, it's gonna check and if there is a new article, it's gonna basically output the article to this Gen E5 node. And this Gen E5 basically packs everything together into a small HTML file, so we can actually give it to this code node that code mode basically structures everything so so it can be feed to a super based vector store and you can see here we're going to mer merge uh, all of these inputs here and inside this code node we are basically adding a id for this session as well but in this case i have it uh, deactivated i can quickly show you as well as you can see id and uh, one moment it's going to show you that it's on active or null or empty and you can see the id is empty so it's deactivated so let's quickly make it back to n at 10. So and then it's gonna output all the information to Superbase so we can actually uh, store it somewhere, as you can see. Later we can basically pull all the information from this uh, Superbase so we can actually generate a blog post or a newsletter post and so on and so on. And this AI agent basically allows us to pull all the information from the Superbase so we can actually generate uh, blog posts or a newsletter posts and so on and so on. And we're gonna basically output all the information to Telegram or if you want to, you can output it to chat trigger as well. I'm gonna show you this as well. So in this case, I'm gonna quickly deactivate this and I'm gonna open chat. Hey, please uh, generate a news alert post for me. So hit send. As you can see, it's going to pull all the information from the super base, all the newest articles you can see. And it's going to output, output it back to trigger one moment. You can see AI breakthrough in April 2025 and so on and so on. Everything is here. Uh, these developments underscore a uh, trend towards automation and smarter workflows. Everything is here. So yeah. So now I'm going to explain you and show you how you can build this one for yourself. So first and foremost, let me quickly hit this workflow so I can show you how this thing works as well. So as you can see, uh, this is a RSS feed trigger. This basically allows us to refresh the page what is inside this trigger every X minutes. So I'm going to quickly show you as well. In this case, I have uh, the mode every minute. So I can, you can change it as well to hours, day, days, weeks, or even months. Or if you want to, you can trigger it every, uh, for example, every 30 minutes as well. You need probably minute, minutes. So, I'm going to quickly switch it back to minutes and here you can see this is the page where we are basically pulling all the newest oracles from in this case i'm going to quickly show you i'm going to paste it inside my browser and this is just a page with latest ai news and the key is that it has to support rss so i'm going to quickly show you as well for example let's say you have a real estate company so uh, you want the uh, latest real estate news so i'm going to search up real estate estate news but the key is that you uh, your uh, search has to end, it, end up with the slash rss so we can actually uh, support RSS and we can actually pull the latest information from the websites. So for example, 119, uh, 119 real estate RSS feeds. So I'm gonna open this page and quickly scroll a little bit down and you can see uh, URL uh, HTTP slash uh, column slash news.google.com slash RSS uh, slash search real estate. So I'm gonna quickly copy this and as you can see, I'm gonna paste it inside this Google. And as you can see, this is the RSS page where we are basically pulling all the latest real estate news. And I'm going to quickly show you the normal page as well. As you can see, I'm going to quickly delete this RSS as well. It uh, can be RSS, uh, slash RSS, or it can be a uh, slash feed as well. So you can see this is the normal page, uh, Google News or uh, real estate. So I'm going to quickly navigate back to N10. And you can change it as well. In this case, this trigger activates every minute and it's going to find if the uh, page has uploaded any new articles. If it uh, has a new uploaded new article, it's going to quickly it's gonna quickly pull the latest news article and it's gonna input inside this super base vector store. So I can see I got a bunch of different websites here as well. I can see this triggers every ex, uh, every two minutes, uh, unit two, and this is the website where we are basically pulling all the information from. I can quickly show you as well. As you can see, this is slash uh, feed slash, and all the information is here. So I'm gonna quickly close this, then I get back to another 10, and you can see. And this is the uh, Jenny 5 node. This basically allows us to, this node basically pulls the articles uh, link. I'm gonna quickly show you as well. Here you can see how HTTP, quickly open this link here. This is gonna basically pull the link from the uh, website or the news article website that you can see, ethics and automation, addressing bias and compliance in AI. I'm gonna quickly open the main uh, website as well. This is the first website that you can see, uh, well, actually the uh, first news. Uh, so I'm gonna get back and then you can see now we're gonna basically pull all the information uh, from the uh, article website and we're gonna basically make it uh, to uh, HTML. 
so we can actually later extract all the needed information. So I'm gonna move on, as you can see, I'm gonna leave all the codes and everything uh, uh, under this video as well, so you can just copy them. So I'm gonna quickly move on. Uh, as you can see, here is the code notes. This basically allows us to, this code or function node basically pulls all the uh, HTML code from the HNE5 node. And then we're gonna basically uh, extract all the needed information, uh, format it well and clean it well, so it can be outputted like this. As you can see, content, all the information about the article, publish date, and, the, and when it's uh, extracted that. As you can see, I'm gonna quickly break this code down for you as well. So in the first section, we're basically changing the HTML to text, as you can see, HTML to text. In the second section, we're basically extracting the publish date and the, all the needed information. And in the first section, we're extracting the content, the uh, article information, as you can see, this content here. Let's quickly now get back. And in the fourth section, we are basically keying up and format the, the outputs. This basically allows us to send out the structured outputs. Let's quickly now get back. And the fifth and the last uh, allows us to uh, send the final return. So quickly move on, quickly close this, and that's uh, as you can see. And this merge node here basically allows us to merge everything together so we can input it uh, to Superbase, all the information what's coming from these four nodes here, all these four uh, feed errors as feed triggers. So let's move on. As you can see, I'm gonna quickly show this as well. Uh, number of inputs will be four and multiple append so we can actually put it uh, all together. So let's move on. As you can see, this code node basically allows us to add ID as well, but in this case, I have the ID uh, on active in the super base. As you can see, ID empty. But yeah, if you want to uh, search for the articles by ID, you can add this ID as well. So as you can see, here's the code as well. This basically adds uh, ID. As you can see, ID. Uh, I will leave the code down below as well, but in this case, I just recommend deactivating this uh, if you want to as you can see deactivate but uh, if you want to uh, use the ID you can just add it as well so let's quickly move on and then we're going to basically input all the information to Superbase I'm going to quickly show you as well as you can see credentials to connect with uh, just connect to the Superbase account I have a video about it as well I will link it up here so you can just check it out operation mode we will insert documents so we can actually push all the insert uh, push all the information to Superbase table name will be embedding and the embedding batch size will be 200. I'm gonna show you as well how you can get this embedding table as well. So quickly navigate to Superbase and uh, navigate to SQL editor or the SQL editor. And there you can see here's the code. I'm gonna leave this down below as well so you can just, just copy it. And this basically, when you uh, copy and just paste it inside here and hit run, this is gonna basically, uh, as you can see, it says error because I already, I already have it. It's gonna generate a uh, table for you inside this table editor, you can see. It adds this embedding here, uh, created time, as you can see, created that, uh, context and metadata and ID and source as well. So if you want this code, I will leave this down below so you can just copy this. Let's quickly never get back to N at 10. And as you can see, we have this open as uh, text embedding small as well. And uh, this uh, default data loader, I'm gonna quickly show this as well. So type of data will be JSON and mode will be load all input data so I can push all the information inside the superbase and uh, recursive character, the text bitter will be just, uh, chunk size will be just 1000 and chunk overlap will be zero. So I'm gonna quickly show you this as well. Oops. Uh, for the trigger, we're using this chat trigger and the agents uh, will be source for prompt will be defined below. Here is the chat input uh, trigger. And you can see here is the long uh, system message as well. Your highly focused AI content agent that writes clear, insightful blog post about the latest developments in artificial intelligence. I will leave this code down below as well, so you can, uh, so you can just copy this. So let's quickly move on. And you can see this is Telegram output as well. In this case, I have deactivated because if you activate it, it uh, uh, the chat trigger is, isn't working. I can quickly show you as well. So I'm gonna open chat. Generate a newsletter, news a post for me so i'm gonna hit send as you can see now it's gonna output the information back to the chat trigger but in this case if i have this activated it's gonna uh, output it to telegram and uh, the the chat trigger one will get error information so as you can see it output the information here so now i'm gonna quickly activate so i'm gonna close this i'm gonna activate this and i'm gonna send the same oops i'm gonna send the same input quickly copy this and as you can see it's gonna output it to telegram and the error for the trigger, uh, chat trigger. As you can see, this is the error. No, it's a, it's not error, but you get the point. I'm gonna quickly open Telegram. And you can see, this is the news error, uh, AI news highlights, April 2025, uh, in the latest AI development, and so on and so on. Everything is here. And by the way, you can remove this as well. This message was uh, sent automatically with N10. You can just open this Telegram node. 
uh, fields and append and attend attribution. I just off the tick, uh, tick this box off. And actually, I'm going to show this telegram output as well. Um, uh, so a resource will be message. Operation will be send message. So we can send messages. Chat ID will be our uh, telegrams uh, bot ID, and the chase uh, the text will be our uh, AI agents output. And let's quickly close this. And I'm going to quickly show the super base vector store settings as well, or the configurations as well. As you can see, uh, just connect your credentials. Operation mode will be retrieve documents as tool for AI agent. Name, I just put AI news. You can change this as well and the description as well. Re uh, retrieve latest AI news. Table name will be embedding, same as the other one, and include metadata as well and limit five. You can change this to 10 as well, but in this case, I just recommend using five. So let's quickly close this. And you can see we have this open AS text uh, embedding small as well. And this is the Postgres memory as well. I have it about it as well. You can use a, a simple memory in this case as well, but I have the Postgres uh, chat memory. I have it about it as well, by the way, and you can, I will link this up here as well, so you can just check it out. And we're using this GPT 4.1 Nano here. And as you can see, and just like that, you can be the self a uh, self learning rag agent. I'll leave all the codes and everything, the templates, everything down below, so you can just copy all those. And yeah, thanks for watching and see you in the next one.